I'm going to talk about the first year I went to Africa. So after 2001, my dad, he wakes, us, he wakes us up and tells us that he's taking us to Nigeria for the first time. So me and my brothers, we were all happy, so we wanted to go. So then the traveling day comes. So so at night, the night before I went to sleep, so I kept waking up, like asking if it's time yet. So it was like 2 o'clock or 3 o'clock in the morning. And I went back to sleep, and then I wake up, I wake up again, and it was 5 o'clock. So we got up, we got ready, and then my dad, there was a taxi cab waiting for us, so we went into the cab, and then they, uh, they drove us to the airport, so we got to the airport. It took us a long time to check in and everything. So after we checked in, we went through security, and after security, we got our um, boarding passes, and then before we got on the plane, we went to eat at McDonald's. So after that, we went on the plane, and then the plane took off, and then we, we landed in Houston, and then we checked in again, and we got on another plane, and we went to Europe, and then we were there for like a couple hours. And then we got on another plane, and that plane finally took us to Africa. So I fell asleep on the plane, and the um, my mom wakes us up, she's like, oh yeah, we're in, we're in Nigeria already. So I wake up, and I open the window of the plane, and it was morning already. So I was really happy, and I couldn't wait to land. So finally, we landed in that airport, and then my dad calls his sister to pick us up. So they came to pick us up, and then my aunt took us to her house. It's a really small house. So then we were there for a night, and then the next morning we got dressed again and went back to the airport again. And then we got another plane and then um, we went to the village, that's where I live, my house and everything. So my dad, one of my dad's friends was there to pick us up, so he picked us up from the airport and took us to our house. And the next day I met all my relatives, my cousins, my aunt, my grandparents. And then we kind of talked and then they were really excited to see us and I was excited to see them too. So then uh, we hung out and I made a couple of friends and then we just talked about a lot of stuff. What did it look like? Describe what, what, what the house well, was like. Well the house was really big, like just like a mansion here, like it was built here, it was like a really big mansion. It has like eight, eight to twelve rooms. Was it on a farm? Were there other houses around it? Was it out in the wilderness? Where was it at? Oh, it was like in front of a forest. It was like a forest behind my house. And then across from it was my grandma's house. And then like land, from the house that landed up was my dad's uncles and aunts and cousins. And his brother's house was like right like up the hill from us. And what was the most surprising thing you learned about visiting Africa? There were a lot of people there. There were more people than you were expecting. Yeah. Yeah. In the village, even, or just everywhere? Both the city and the village. Both the city and the village. All right, give her a round of applause.